Hello students, this is Ashini from Chinta.com. In this video, I want to share with you a few tutorials about how to use the Panini 8 adaptive problem solving software if you are a student of Chinta. You can watch the entire video or you can watch specific parts of it which are relevant for you. Suppose you are taking a live classroom program at Chinta. How can you access and join the classes? How can you watch the recordings? How can you take the quizzes? These are some of the questions that we receive all the time. So in this video, I will show you all that. And then I will move to mock tests. I will gradually move to study material. I will go to doubt clearing and practices. Okay. Let's start with the live classes. How can you join the live classes? And how can you access the class recordings and take the quizzes that happen after or before the classes? Almost many of the classes at Chinta, there are uh, end of class quizzes. So how can you access those? So there is a very simple way to do it. You go to the My Classes button in the top menu. Okay. It's a new button that we just recently added. Click on the My Classes button and immediately you should be able to see all your classes for today. Today is the day that you are looking at the data. It's showing class links. You can also see quizzes. You can also see files. Sometimes files are added for class notes. To join a class, you just click on join class, this particular button. So once you click on the button, it shows whether you can join the class right away or whether it's some time away. Usually class links are activated about 30 minutes before the actual class begins. Similarly, the, there is another problem solving class that is also scheduled for me. This is the IOQM AMC 1012 problem solving class. This is from 9 p.m. IST. If you are in some other location, let's say US or UK or Australia, you should be able to see your location's time zone. Uh, there are other things that you can do. You can click on these three dots, the three little dots, to access other resources. So if there are quizzes or if there are uh, files or class recordings, those can be accessed from here as well. Okay, so let's quickly go to one example like that. I'll go to past. And in the past, you can see all the past classes that you have taken. Let me go to the um, go to some some random class. Let's say this one physics homework class for level two C. So you see there is only one link that's available here. Uh, if I go to some other uh, class, let's say IOQM 10 12 problem solving class, I can see there are two links available. Let's click on that. So you can see that there are class link, there is the class link, and we have the class recording as well. So if you click on class recording, you should be able to see the recording, recorded lecture as well. So if you miss the live class, you can come here and watch the recording. Similarly, you can also see quizzes if the quizzes are also added. So uh, for example, this is the physics concept class, level 2C. If I click on this, I can see quizzes. And if I click on open, I will be able to take the quiz. That's one way to access the classes. There, there, there are other ways actually. Um, what you can do is you can go to the top menu and click on the quiz button. This is one space where all your quizzes and scores are visible. So if you click on quiz, you can see all the course, all the quizzes from all the programs that you are part of. There are overdue quizzes, there are completed quizzes, there are upcoming quizzes and so on. You can also see your scores here. So that's very easy, you can access the quiz. You can also access the mock tests. So if you click on that mock tests button in the top menu, you can access the mock tests. For example, uh, I have two mock test modules assigned to me. One is the AMC 10 mock test. The other one is the ISI, B, STAT, B, Math, and RIS mock test. So if I click on explore tests, 
I should be able to see the test. I can try the test. If I've already given the test, I can see the analysis of it. So it should be very simple. Okay, so we are done with the live classes. We are done with the quizzes. We are done with the uh, my classes uh, mock tests portion. And now let's go to the progress section. If you are practicing in the Chinta uh, portal in the software, then you should be able to see all your progress, your daily amount of time spent in the system, how many problems could you do, how many you could not do, and so on. So this is a very important space. Of course, I'm looking at an admin account, so I, I cannot see the strength analysis or weakness analysis, but ideally you should be able to see it. Okay, there are many other things that you can access. For example, if you click on the more button, you can see the study material and the problem bank and the games. So if you go to the game section, you should be able to play mathematical games, which should be helping you to improve your concentration. We are trying to come up with more games like this so that bring your focus back to mathematics in a more joyful manner. So keep an eye on the game section. Uh, let's quickly go to study material. So if you go to study material, you will see that if study materials are activated, then you should be able to see the study material. For now, I can see the ISI CMI entrance study material. I can click on view study material and I can check all the lessons that are there. I can go to a particular lesson and I can start working on it and I can try the problems related to it. Sometimes videos are also available so I can see those. I think I should also show you the ask section. So if you are stuck with a problem, you can go to the ask section and you, you can see other students are asking questions. And once you have asked some questions, some students uh, or other teachers at Chinta will be able to respond to your queries. So I hope this entire system is useful for you. In the next video, I'll come back with some more mathematics. Until that time, keep on doing good problems and try all the classes. Okay. Thank you for joining in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.